I'm here at Mothership Glass in Bellingham, Washington with Scott Deppy, and he's going to be doing some assembly on the Inquala. The Inquala holds the piece in place while he practices his hand position, prepares for the assembly, looks at it from different directions, and has the luxury to take his time because he's not holding the piece. The horn that he's attaching was carefully lapped to a mirror finish to ensure a perfect fit. Once he's practiced bracing his hand and is certain that he can assemble correctly, he begins heating. Because he has two hands free, he's able to use a hand torch. A hand torch is a particularly useful tool working with the Inquala. Now that he has the piece attached, it's getting cold. And cold glass is not our friend. So as soon as he gets the bridge welded, It's off to the Bunsen. While it's reheating, he has the luxury to stand back. Look at it. Come up with an idea what he's going to do next. Look at it from different directions. He doesn't have to hold it. The machine holds it. He can even start perfecting the weld while it's on the Bunsen. Little bit by little bit, he carefully perfects the weld using the hand torch. He can brace his hand against the bench, brace his hand against the Inquala, and when he's done, return to the Bunsen to keep the piece hot. He can move the piece into any position that he needs in order to see better or to let gravity help him out. He's also free to balance against his body, use two hands to control the torch, and use the hand torch while the piece is over the Bunsen. Keep in mind that he's very relaxed while doing this and not getting tired by holding the piece in his hand. Even a relatively lightweight piece like this can become pretty annoying after hours of holding it up.
Scott is an extremely meticulous perfectionist and he spends hours making sure that every detail is correct. Because the machine is holding the weight, he's free to concentrate on the work that he's doing without getting tired. He can take as long as he wants in a relaxed way to make sure it meets his standard of perfection. Then when he's done, it's off to the Bunsen.